we're going to, uh, all the stuff that we basically had done the last, like, two or three months has been kind of a, an extension of that, uh, that pirate ship that we made. And today, the plan is we're going to, uh, we're going to start something completely different. Uh, I have downloaded a mod called, uh, where is it? I have it pulled up here. Here we go. It's the All Races Playable mod. So basically what this is, is it lets us play All Races. Um, including, so, and the, the cool thing about this is not that you can, like, play elves, is that the the elves actually play differently than uh, than dwarves, which they should. Um, dwarves, for instance, can't cut down trees. They have to farm and like grow trees, and they have to grow things out of out of wood. Um, I don't think they can mine at all. I don't think. I'm not actually sure though. Oh, I, I've never tried this before, um, so this is what we know. Uh, humans are similar to dwarves, but they they uh, can't make steel. And they have to grow over plants above ground. Goblins do not eat or drink, which is interesting. But uh, the so they don't need food industry. However, they they need food and drink for trolls. We can have trolls as goblins, um, and they have access to evil animals. So whenever you embark, you have normally you have a list of like cats and ducks and chickens. With tr goblins, you have lists of like trolls and beat dogs. It's crazy. We're going to try it. Uh, the other cool thing is elves also have a, a giant list of animals they can pick. They can pick, like, um, like cougars and, and bears they can bring with them and use them as, like, as pets, I guess. Um, so, anyways, yeah, yeah. So, we're going to use this mod, uh, and we're going to be goblins today. And kind of what I'm thinking I want to do with this is... Uh, any kind of plans you make with Dwarf Fortress is always a bad idea. But this is what I'm kind of thinking is tonight... Or today, this morning, I guess. We're going to play... Um, then we're going to build a fort as goblins. And then we'll see... Uh, I, I mentioned this last time, kind of planning on doing it with the pirate ship. But th we're going to do it this time. Where uh, we're going to build the fort. And then we're going to go into adventure mode next time. And grab our band of goblins and start ransacking and pillaging human towns. And elven towns. And, and dwarf fortresses. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan. So let's do it. So we want to uh, create a new world. We're using the mod. We have to use a new world. We cannot use the uh, our old world for this mod to work, which is fine, I guess. Um, we can stick with a small world. Medium's fine. I like having these high. Well, number of civilizations is fine. That would do high. Uh, number of beasts, yes, certainly high. Savagery, uh, we'll keep it high because we're going to be part of that. And minerals, fine. Anyway. Okay, so let's build a world. Uh, this might take a little bit, but not too bad. So we'll have to find, um, we'll have to pick our goblin civilization and see what we can do with it. You can see, uh, oh, we have lots of dwarves in here. Lots of dwarves. We've got, what are these, um, there's a dwarven fort on the coast. There's dwarves everywhere. And we've got, is this the, what's the brown over here? These are different. This is, I guess, I must have changed something in the new pack. Or with a new new update. Ooh, we have a necromancy tower. Awesome. Uh, I'm not used to seeing, usually, usually this part of the game is an ASCII and I can read it, but I'm not really familiar with it this way. Like, I know this, well, there's an elven place. You can see the elf. Um, the dwarves are giant. Uh, we've got a uh, human, I think a human city here. Um, I don't see anything else. This chest may be something. Right, we gotta end this. Um, the dwarves are getting out of control. And that is something as well. Actually, we can actually look. <clears throat> the Plain of Bulwark. The Tomb of Felviku. That might be something different. We have all of our uh, goblin stuff up in, in here. Dark Goblin Fortress of Alutz, the Ill Mountain. Oh, that's a Dark Goblin Fortress as well. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. Good. 145 is the year. We do have a Necromancy Tower, which is exciting. Always good to have those around. Only one, though. Human Tower of... Shatu. Okay. So, we'll see how this, uh, how this works. I have got, uh, I just was just kind of testing things out. And I got in here and started a fort just to make sure it worked, but I haven't done anything with it. But I really want to see uh, some trolls in my fort. And I guess you can train them. I guess they're sort of like dogs. 
you can train them to be like war trolls or hunting trolls. And that's what we're going to do. And we got to think of something different, unique about the fort. What we're going to do to make this fort. I mean, clearly it's going to be a goblin fort, so it's going to be unique anyways. We want, this is it, right? Yeah, it's always the bottom one. Like, are we going to do something like, are we going to start in savage lands or evil lands? I have never done a, an evil, f evil lands fort. We'll just have to see what we can find. Okay. So the way this thing works... What town is this? Is this a goblin? This is a goblin spot. Uh, so the way this works... Um, well, these are all the civilizations that are in the world. We scroll through and we pick which one we want to be. And you can kind of see it here. So the dimpled jungle are elves. These are all the elves that are kind of in the southwestern part of the whole place. Uh, the terrors of partnering must be goblins, which we can see here in a minute. Iron of Eyes, um, are they dead? I don't see them anywhere. The Waning Kingdoms, they're down there at the bottom. That's got to be the humans, because, yeah, they have this town down here. We have a giant empire of, of, um, dwarves. They own, like, half the island. The Prey's Dread. Chestnut Confederacy, Den of Waves. Another one that looks like it's dead. Rainy Terror. There's some, yeah, these are goblins as well. These are guys down here. Uh, the Infamous Empires must be... Is that part of the... No. It's just just a bunch of people up here. And then the, the Basic Lobster is uh, is dead. That's a shame. Too bad the Basic Lobster's dead. Let's take a look at... The Terrors of Partnering. I think. What was the other one? The Praise Dead. Hmm. Praise Dead. They're like in the same spot. Okay, we can try the Praise Dead. We can look through here, and so the one that you are is the one that's on top. And you can see we were at war with elven's dwar dwarves, elves, dwarves, and humans. Which is the way it should be. So, if this is up over here, what can we pick over here? Temperature. Scorching. We've already played a haunted biome. We don't need to do that anymore. Let's see what we can find here. We don't necessarily have to be anywhere near our people. Temperature scorching. What is this? Oh, it's a volcano. Oh. Yeah, it's a volcano. Oh. Um. Ooh, that would be cool. We could play on the volcano. I think we should. We're like, we're like right here. I guess the five... I don't know. Somewhere in here is where we would start. We can still dig and everything just as, as goblins... As dwarves do. Um, the name of the volcano is the Oceanic Rages. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Two by two is what I usually... Oops. That's what I usually do. Just because my computer thanks me for that. Um, we only have shallow metal around here, though. That's the only problem. However, as a goblin, you can only... You can't make steel. You can't make alloys, basically, of any kind. So you can only do, uh, you know, like, uh, copper and, and steel and, and iron. You can't do... Um, actually, I don't know if you can... I'm assuming you can do iron. I don't know. Uh, but you can't certainly can't do steel. Hey, Leon Dragon Cat. All right, so let's do it. Let's do, we're gonna do a volcano. I think we certainly should. Uh, so let's take a better look at the map. We are still going to be the L or the, the goblins. Ah, I can't. We're goblins. Everyone's around us. Oh, there's a necromancy tower also nearby. Excellent. Um, we are the praised dread, and you can see, yeah, it's like very good. There is no vegetation. Oh, yeah, no trees. Okay. 
So we've got basically nothing around us. But you know what? We don't need things. Let's embark. Oh, I can't. Why? Why can't I? What am I missing? Can I not embark on the volcano? Why can't I embark? I can embark down. I can embark here. Yes, you can raise trolls. Because you can, you can, you can bring troll babies. What if I choose this one and then choose? There we go. We can do. We can do this. Okay. So we have a little bit of sand with us. It's probably a good thing. Okay, let's do it. Embark. Yes. Uh, we are going to prepare carefully because this is going to be unique. Um, Gozru, Atu, yeah, we actually have proper... They are, I think they are pets, is the way it works. So we're bringing, where's our, we have a thousand points left. Uh, do we need an anvil? Yeah, we probably should. A couple great axes, a couple picks. We have giant peregrine falcon intestines. Clown loach. Sparrow quivers. Um, sure, that's fine. So here's what we can we can choose: beak dogs, or basically beak dogs or trolls. It's pretty much all we can choose. And uh, yeah, that's that's all we can choose. So I think we should bring some just generic, just a couple beak dogs. Maybe we can make baby beak dogs. Uh, what do we have? We have 958 points. You can see these trolls are worth 251 apiece. So we could only get three of them if we did it this way. We can get a girl beak dog, or a, gold, a girl troll, and a boy troll. We could get two girls and a boy. Um, anything else we need? I like need seeds because we've got. So we have to feed the trolls. I don't know. Does that mean we have to like? Um, do we have to make food for them, or do we just have to have? Food for them to eat. I don't think we have any skills. Yeah, we have no skills. Oh, you can't embark on my own, only by own. That's why. Yes, this will be another uh, YouTube playlist. We're moving on from the uh, pirate ship. Um, we may probably don't need the. Oh, yeah, we probably don't need the anvil, but we'll bring it, I guess. Let's find two girls and one. Boy troll, and then we'll bring um, a couple extra dogs. A bunch of extra dogs. Um, yeah. There we go. Mm, anything else? Let me grab. Where is. Uh... think maybe we're okay bring sand with us um let's just bring a troll let's bring a bag a couple bags just to make sure that we have them bring a couple of those just to make sure we have bags around and we can store seeds or whatever we find in there okay um a seed wasn't even an option, was it? Huh. Okay. Embark. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Oh, we will not be nice. <laughs> you arrived after a journey from the mountain homes? Mm. I don't think this changes any. Uh, building forbidding wilderness beyond. Harsh track has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of... Zozlongezzo. There are almost no supplies left, but stout labor comes sustenance with it by bolt, plow, or hook. Provide for, uh, for your goblins. You are expected to uh, spike around just before the winter entombs you, but it is spring now. Enough time to delve secure lodgings ere the dingoes get hungry. A new chapter of goblin history begins here at this place. As Strogoonies. Devil Deer. Oh, yeah, it's Devil Deer. Okay, hang on. Oh, we got... Okay, okay, okay. 
Um, I've never played on a volcano either. Check it out. It's a volcano. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, man. How are we going to do this? we got to do something awesome with this. Um, so this is the top of the mountain. Uh, we are down here. we got, like, another peak over here as well. Ooh, we can do something cool. Uh, pause. Um, yeah, it goes way down here. Okay. Oh, good. Uh, is that, mag like, lava? Oh, red sand. Okay. okay. Hmm. Okay. So, here is the, is the group. Let's zoom in here. I'm using the... Am I using... I think I'm using Phoebus for this. Um, you can see all of our... Our dwar our, our, our dwarves. Our goblins. We have our trolls here. Um, they count as a pet. A tame pet. I'm not sure what we can do to them, though. I think what we need to do is, like, build around the volcano. How are we going to do that? So this... It's, like, flat here. But we could, like, build just sort of around the volcano and then underneath it. It goes way down. Well, I guess it would go way down, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's a volcano. Okay, well, let's, um... Let's begin by digging... Um, a downstair like that. And then we're gonna go... Down here a little ways. There we go. Okay, so we'll get that going. We'll figure out some more. Uh, some more. Was that iron? Is that iron? Oh, oh it's obsidian. Um, let's go grab some uh, seeds and things. I guess we're gonna grow. I, I don't know. Maybe the trolls need to be like farmed outside. Oh, what we could do? What we could do? Okay, so the um, the volcano top is very green, and we could you could make like our pasture sort of around the volcano, so the trolls sort of hang out around the volcano. That's exciting. That works. But we also need to we do need to grab some. Uh, like, I'm not sure if we actually need to, but we need to chop some trees down. So let's go gather all of those. And there's Galena. Um, yeah, we, we do have shallow metals. That's basically the only thing I have. We have shallow metals and sand. Um, and we also want to... I guess we can gather some plants. We'll have to see what, what we do with the trolls here. I'm not sure. Okay, go ahead and go do your thing. Why is the caravan pink? Goblins have pink caravans? We've struck Galena. Now, what is the troll doing? The troll is carving the up and down staircase. That's amazing. The troll is doing the work. <laughs> Does he have a pickaxe? What if I pull up? Uh, I got a. Um, I want. Uh, perfect. Yes, it is a mod. We get it all done? Oh, right. Um, okay, so let's dig out. I guess we're going to dig out, like, around here. We should go right up to the volcano, though. We goblins like it nice and nice and warm. I'm not sure what that's going to be yet. Um, and then we can go... Like that. And I think we'll just sort of build our stuff all around the volcano. We like it warm. We don't like cold places. Even though we're in like this, the, um, super hot land. It's not really sure what this is going to be yet. I'm a little, uh, it's a little awkward because we don't need any farming. Or do we? Because trolls apparently do more than I thought they did. Well, trolls need food. Let's have like a big stockpile. Put the stockpiles up here. I have some double doors, and then we'll make just like a big, a big stockpile of room. There. Trolls can learn, so they probably can, so they can work. Probably not most laborers. Let's see. Yes, they are in here. That's amazing. 
Uh, oh, I had somebody that wanted to be named. Let me pull him up real quick. I think, uh, oh, I remember his name was, was Dark Metal. So let's do it. Troll Man, his name is Dark Metal. I hope that was the name of it. Okay, if anyone else wants a name, then uh, let me know, and I'll put you in there, and... I mean, it looks like they can do pretty much everything. He has no current job. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll, we'll see. Sloppy caves? Probably. Oh, yeah, it's probably a good idea. How would we make it sloppy? Well, what if we could do... I wonder if we can do something... That's a good idea. They should not be all organized. We're not dwarves. Here, I know what we can do. I know what we can do. We're gonna use the mouse. Okay, I'll get you guys in a second. Um, here. There we go. This is our storage room. Okay. And, um... Yes, goblins hate squares. That's right. <laughs> okay. Um... Oh, we gotta dig more. Uh, we're gonna dig a hallway here. You know what? I think maybe we shouldn't do hallways. We should just, as we need rooms, we'll make them. So we've got, I don't know, something's gonna go over here. And uh, maybe the troll room can be over here. This is where the trolls can live. We can, uh, we need a workshop, of course. So we can throw that in this room. And then we're gonna put a spot where we can put our wood. Let's stockpile our wood over here. Oh, I'm getting too organized. There we go. Okay. Uh, oh, name, 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 name. Kick to the head. The all right. Here we go. To the head. And we had uh, Leon Dragon Cat. I wish I could have brought like cats along with me. Uh, was there anyone else? Don't want one. You want one, Kipo? You're getting one. Kipo, you get a troll. You're in here all the time. Fellow Dwarf Fortress players can... They can have trolls. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good job, trolls. Hey, Pop Destruction. Okay, so we should have a bunch of wood now. Um, well, let's get that figured out. Then we'll, let's get that mined out, then we'll put our wood back in, in this area here. Um, but up here, we can make a few stockpiles. We can do, like... Um, I'm not going to do a stone. We'll do that one separate. But if we have any cloth, we'll throw it in here. I mean, it can't be organized. This would be the perfect fort for me, because I'm never organized. Finished goods can go here. And furniture... Go like here and here. If we have any leather, we can throw the leather in as well. Oh, look at you using caps lock! I need. I you know one of these days I will. Uh, I will. I will mess with uh, Nightbot. Nightbot. I've never. I just. I turned it on and uh, let it go. Trolls like using their hands, they seem to be mining very slow. I think what we need up here is we need a sort of like weapons room. So we're gonna have a door here, and we're gonna have a stash for our weapons and our armor. And it's gonna be sort of like a military spot. And our trolls can hang out over here. Uh, so we've got stockpile room here. Down here, we're gonna have troll bedroom. We're gonna make it look a little uglier. We just sort of hug the volcano, I think would be the way to do it. This will be our, our a bedroom in here. I'm assuming the trolls need to have a bedroom. And I'm a little worried because I didn't bring... I brought a little bit of food. But how am I supposed to get any more food? There's no water here. Is there? I guess we can eat beak dog. Yeah, there's no water here. Maybe we're gonna, we're gonna have to, I guess, dig down and find ourselves some water in the pit, in the caves. Oh, what is that? Red-winged blackbirds. Giant ones. Okay. Um, I want 
to... We're good. Uh, what else do we have that we need to put in here? I don't have any seats. We'll do another finish good spot over here. There we go. And you can see they're getting thirsty. Um, okay, so we're gonna have to like... Um... We're gonna have to build some, uh... Oops. I guess we need to build a still? Hopefully my trolls don't all die. Um, this is gonna be a bedroom. It's not anymore. Let's put it over here. Okay, yes. Make a still. There we go. Good job, Gozru. New task. Extract from plants is all you have. Okay. Nope. I can do that. Oh, the noise. Hmm. Talset is Phoebus. I think our only hope for our trolls is going to be just to dig down and find water. We we have sand, but we don't have any we don't have any seeds. We didn't have the option to bring seeds. <laughs> um, it's raining outside. Of course, I read the chat from YouTube. Oh, you're asking for the stream? Yes, I do. I have a... Well, you can see it. Hmm. Well. How are we going to do this here? Uh, we need to gather... Plants again. Just come down here and gather some things. I've never tried with ASCII. I've uh well I've actually watched Cupo a little bit with ASCII. No, not Masterwork, it's just a mod. It's just a kind of a simple mod that just adds the ability to play these races. I also add them in. Remember how last time on uh, with my pirate ship, the whole plan with the pirate ship was to was to uh, make a a fort and then grab an adventure from that fort and go out and do things. Uh, but I couldn't because they just weren't. I wasn't able to make um go over here. I wasn't able to make. I wasn't able to use a dwarf from um from adventure mode because I just, my, my my empire was dead. Well, this way there, I think they are always able to be made. Dwarves, I mean. Let's just dig straight down over here. I may need to go a little more than that. The mod is... I think I still have it pulled up over here. This one. Just type in all races playable mod. And this is it. It gives you... You can play these four. It also gives you a little bit more... Um, well, you know, it's, I say it gives a little more in uh, adventure mode, but that's in the game now. Yeah, blue are means of thirsty. That's cobaltite. We're gonna have to just dig a lot and hope that we find a cave with water. Let's dig along way, way down here. Yeah, you can do elf forts. El uh, elves cannot. Um. Chop down trees, of course. That's going to be a bit of a challenge. Uh, what was I going to put over here? This is my military spot, wasn't it? So let's make a... Weapons? Spot over here. And we're going to put an ammo next to it. And then armor. I was thinking about armor. Now, typically you go and you build, like, you know... You start with leather armor. It's ridiculous to make bone armor, but we're goblins. I think we just have to do bone armor. That's required of us. That we have bone armor. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah, no, you can't. 
worth a shot. And the carpenter can go back here. And then we also probably need a mason. Can I throw him in here? I can carve out a little bit more. Uh. No, kobolds live in, um, caves. They, well, kobolds live in, like, little camps just outside of the dragons. I don't know how a dwarf fortress works, but kobolds are, like, usually, like, serve some sort of greater or master, like a dragon. Hornblend? I don't know if I've ever seen that before. What's Hornblend? Okay, yeah, that's good. How is this going? What's in here? Yeah. Did we make it all the way? Oh, we did. An L4, I would think, would be... Yeah, you have to grow your wood. So your farming would be growing be growing things. You grow things into whatever else. Um, we're going to set up a, um, a zone here. Now, surely the animals are smart enough to not go into the lava, right? Um, something like that? No, 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 no. I want it to, I want it to cover my entrance. something like this. Oops. There we go. So this is going to be the pen pasture for all the dogs. I brought a lot of dogs. Okay. I can't even pasture the, the trolls. And we'll come out over here and we will use this as our dump, garbage dump. Anything else out there? A kestrel. It's fantastic that the trolls actually do work. Empty bucket. No empty bucket. Uh, well, I, even if you had a bucket, you wouldn't get very far, buddy. I will right, give you one, though. Bucket. We need a couple beds. We need some doors. Uh, we probably need a good hatch cover. We are in a decent vicinity of a necromancy tower. Need four of them. I can't anymore. Okay. I know we're all very thirsty. Hey, we found it! Excellent! Uh, water, 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 water. Trolls are thirsty. Oh, we got spiders. 